Is that the entrance? Yeah, I mean, this is... All right, guys. So we're currently at a towing yard right now because we're recovering my 1997 Subaru Impreza. And for those that don't know or didn't see my post on Instagram or on my YouTube channel, my car got stolen. And it's been about like four or five days now and we finally just got the call in. I don't know the whole entire details of what the car looks like. The only thing that he says is that it does have one deflated tire. The ignition looks okay. And that's pretty much the extent of it. So we're about to go in there right now and go check it out. But I do want to take a moment and just say thank you to everybody that, you know, commented and, and showed love for the car. And it makes me feel really good that you guys are a part of this whole journey with me. But I'm really hoping that we can get this car into a certain condition that I can at least drive it out of here because they're going to be charging me every single day. I don't think CY wants to be driving me here and back. So we got an air compressor. I also got my tools in the back as well as a full size spare just in case we need it. So worst case scenario, we can slap a wheel on it, drive it on out of here, or at least try our best with what we got. We'll just push it out and park it in the street because that's free unless it gets stolen. Well, then it's probably going to get stolen again. I, I don't want that to happen. We'll just take all the wheels off, put it on blocks. It'll already be pre-stolen. Oh, okay. Well, we could just take the wheels and then give it away. Should we just do that? Oh, I like that. Because the wheels are about, you know, 100% of the value of the car. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to be using it in a winter rally series on top of that. If it runs, or even if it's in one piece. Oh, dude, I see it. It was just on jack stand there, so... Oh, on one jack stand. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you is I don't know if they were... They must have been trying to take the wheels. That's what my driver thinks because you can't get it high enough to be able to pull your tire off without mm -hmm. letting air out. So that's why I was like, yeah. so I don't know if it's actually flat or if they just tried to take let the air out to be able to take the tire off. You know what I'm saying? No, I just put a fresh set of winners, so I'm, oh. I'm almost certain they deflated it. Yeah, they probably just were trying to take the wheels off like you were saying, so... Jesus Christ. Yeah, gotta well, love it, man. I, I am so grateful you guys found it. Is this your first time in a towing yard? Oh, I've had a car towed before. Oh, I was in God. Canada, uh, Vancouver, and I parked in a spot that wasn't allowed, and then like 15 minutes later, my car was gone. So I've been in a Canadian tow yard. Well, you get an American experience too. Yeah, it's like I was in a metric tow yard. This is gonna be an imperial tow yard. This guy's had a hard life. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice roll. Still Avance. You know the crazy thing? This is mine. A tow strap? But they used it. Oh, let's, let's have a look. Courtesy parking violation. Oh, so it's been there for a while. We can try and pump it up, but it looks like it's... Yeah, that sidewall is unhappy. It looks really sad. Yeah, let's go grab the other tire and mount it instead of... What's all this random stuff inside? Oh! Oh, this is my engine cover. Wow, they just, they made a mess of everything. See, the lock feels fine. But why is it beeping like there's a key in the ignition? Oh. What's that all about? Yeah, you, you see, I do see some like metal shavings on the outside of the key lock cylinder because it's beeping right now like there's a key in the ignition. Yep. So I don't know what's going on there. Should I try and fire this thing up? Oh, for sure. I think Francis's uh, car had a similar situation where, you know, really? her key was, remember you were talking about her cylinder? Oh yeah. It was beeping without nothing, without anything in it. Does it even oh, go dude. in? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really weird. I can feel it. Yeah, it's gonna fire. Fires up. <laughs> All right. She's still good. She's still in one piece. Wow. How's the body? Looks clean. Hey, it's still your, this is still your front plate, isn't it? Yeah. I can't wait to change the back one. Let me change the back. So let's, let's see what of this in the back is yours. Do you have a bulls cap? Oh, here's your lock. How did they? Do you have the key? You see how it's locked though? Yeah, yeah. How do they do that? I do have the key. It's on the, it's in on the, the front. Yeah. But I thought this was going to be bent out of shape. Yeah, I would have figured that too. But uh, yeah, somehow they got it off without breaking your steering wheel. This is like Harry Houdini shit. I know. What the hell is 
I got my fender lines. Did you take that? All right, that's good. Uh, a lot of this stuff is mine. I mean, I didn't know you were a Bulls fan. I just wear that when I play golf. <laughs> <laughs> because, dude, in the summer when we're playing, it gets so hot. I mean, this is for the legacy. This is for the spec B. Oh, this nice. It's actually really worth a lot of money. <laughs> They didn't even take the turbo. That's a VF39 turbo. Uh, is your windshield, uh, was it previously broken? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's that, right, I remember that. That thing was really messed up. Really made a mess of it on the inside, but all my stuff's here. Lettered stuff, they didn't even take the brake rotors. I just bought brand new brake rotors for this thing. I am so grateful, but at the same time, I feel a little violated that they they took this guy. Okay, so what the tow guy was saying is that he thinks that he found the scissor jack and what they were trying to do is they were trying to remove the wheels off this car because 100% that is the most expensive thing on the car. But since I did the lift and I put these larger tires on it, this wasn't tall enough for us to be able to do that. So they deflated the tire on one, they still couldn't get it off and they probably just gave up and they're just like, all right, screw it, we'll get out of here. So this saved the car. Well, actually the lift itself saved the car. But if this worked, I think this thing would have been a goner. It would have been on jack stands and we wouldn't be standing here right now listening to it run because dude, the car is running. <laughs> oh my God. Even got the plate. So we can put this on right now. Get this thing out of here. But I don't, I wouldn't feel safe putting this tire back on the road. I mean, unless we really wanted to air it up and see how it goes. How does it look? The towing company was nice enough to let me borrow their tools and get the wheel off real quick. I'm gonna swap it out with this spare that I had for the battle wagon. The brake light's on, I think uh, it's low on brake fluid. There's barely anything in it. Oh, it's pretty much empty. Look at it. Man, they just ran it down to nothing. I'm telling you, the brakes are really cooked in this thing. I might even go get some more brake fluid. I got some in my house. Oh, you do? Yeah. You think she's gonna make it? Oh, just don't don't stop. Just drive home straight. Just. Just keep the gas on the whole time. <laughs> you still so. use your brakes, dude. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I'm driving this right now. <laughs> this is so awesome. Man, I feel so fortunate and so lucky. When we were at that towing yard, there were so many vehicles that were just completely destroyed and useless. And for whatever reason, they saved the little Impreza. Still going. It's got that low brake fluid, but we'll, we'll deal with that once we get home. I'm just, it's, it's a good day. Today's a good day.